Islam is a religion of love and harmony, which promotes charity through true selflessness. Charity is in the heart of every Muslim believer. But charity is not restricted to simply giving money to the poor people. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was God's final messenger to all of mankind. He was a true role model in every aspect of life. And with respect to charity, he said, every act of goodness is a charity. Muhammad taught us that every good act, no matter how big or small, is in fact considered an act of charity. Throughout his lifetime, he left us with many beautiful examples. And from these examples, he taught us that to utter a kind word to somebody is an act of charity. To help somebody in a difficulty is an act of charity. To remove something harmful from the public path is considered an act of charity. Even something as small and simple as smiling at another person is in fact considered an act of charity. Another act of charity recommended by Muhammad, peace be upon him, was that of feeding a hungry person. And by this recommendation, Muslims seek any opportunity to feed other people. And in the Muslim world, it is a regular practice for Muslims to organize the preparation of meals for the poor people in the community, or for the Muslims to organize the distribution of food parcels into the impoverished areas. So what is the best act of charity? Well, Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that the best act of charity is that which continuously benefits the people. And in this respect, he encouraged the planting of trees from which a person, an animal, or a bird would later benefit from. Based upon this principle, Muslims from all over the world have rallied together to provide organized welfare. Rather than giving a glass of water to one thirsty person, Muslims have helped to build wells and water systems all across Asia and Africa. Similarly, providing somebody a proper education has the potential to lead one person to provide continuous benefit to many people for generations to come. And this is one of the reasons why Muslims will promote the teaching profession. It is also one of the reasons why Muslims are actively engaged in the building of schools. All these acts of charity bring much happiness to the hearts of the Muslims. The motivation behind these actions is to express gratitude to their Lord for his guidance, mercy and blessings. Through these acts of charity, Muslims seek to earn the pleasure of their Lord and in the end hope to earn God's promise of everlasting rewards in the hereafter.